Hey everybody, welcome back to Rain and Pause. I'm Mitch, and I'm going to redo a canvas that I started a couple of minutes ago. I decided I didn't like it, so I've scrapped it, and I'm just going to start again. So on that canvas, I've put down this little piggy McCall, which is a brand new one that's going to be released on the 3rd of August, along with this little piggy watermelon, again, brand new pigment. I'm also going to use this little piggy twilight and some Holcroft carbon black in my pouring medium with a white cell activator over a black pillow. So Billy Gora did this uh, combination and it looks absolutely stunning. I've just done a smaller one to make sure that I'm happy with how everything is working and I am. So let's redo this big one and hope I can get a better result. So let's go down to the table and we'll see what we can do. Not redoing this pour again. Okay. Let's try this one last time. And I will put just another little blob of paint in the middle, just so I know that it's going to flow. Okay, here we go, last chance, because after this I have no more macaw left. And no more watermelon. So I'm actually going to include just a little bit of pinwheel in this one, another little pea pigment. Just a tiny bit, just to add a bit of color because I don't think I've got enough paint on here to get it to the edges. Okay, now my aim this time is to get that hairdryer right down on it and just blow these out. I think I hesitated last time and that's what screwed me up. All right, so activators down, hairdryer's ready. Here we go. Let's have a look. Okay. Hopefully those cells will develop as we spin. Let's get a lot of that paint off. all going lopsided so I'm going to move my canvas slightly to one side. I'm going to be very very careful as I spin this now so that it doesn't go flying off the spinner. So what this will do is it will send all the paint flying to the opposite end, so hopefully it will cover this edge where there's not much colour at the moment. And it's working perfectly. Just got a little bit more to get there, so I'm just going to shift it up a 
touch more. And now I have to be really, really careful because it is very off center. It's nearly there. I just want this to spin off. Question is, is there enough paint on there? For that to move all the way to the edge. It looks like there is. It's getting there very, very slowly. Make sure nothing's going to come flying off at me. And just be very careful that I don't rip anything onto the painting now. little bit more. Okay, that is probably enough. Now let me check the center. No, not going to push that. Okay, and then from here I'm going to push this back to the middle. Scrape up all this extra paint. And do a couple more big spins just to really get all that paint off. And that is much, much better. <laughs> so that goes to show even us professionals have trouble sometimes and we're not happy with the work we're doing. So don't be afraid to scrape your paints. It's just paint. You can buy more. I know it's costly, but for the sake of your peace of mind and your happiness, you've got to be happy with the work that you put out as well. So in this case, I wasn't happy with the final product. So I scraped it three times. I've never had to do that with a painting, um, but you know, sometimes it happens. So let's go down for some details. Let's put it up here. That watermelon pink really stands out. wonder if you can see the blue to gold color shift. So let me tilt back up to a top down view. So this way we should be able to see the gold or green color. And this side we should be able to see the blue. You can see how that color comes out of nowhere. So that was an ordeal. Scraped three times, I wasn't happy. Now I think I am. So I'm gonna leave this piece be, I'm gonna let it dry, make my final decision once this gets a coat of varnish and somebody's gonna fall in love with this piece. So if you like what I'm doing here, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.